What's up guys, hope you all had a fantastic week. It is uh, Saturday today, which is awesome. Um, Friday ended up ended pretty nicely yesterday with some mail deliveries. I got some, got a couple of San Diego Comic Con exclusives in the mail. This one is the one I'm gonna be showing you right now. The other one I got is the special action figure three pack with Dr. Afro, which I'll be showing you in the next video. So I'm pretty excited to have a closer look at them. Um, I've had a good sort of sit around and play with this this morning. Um, it's it's an awesome little set. Um, I did I got this from an eBay seller in Hong Kong. I can't remember the name. I think it was. No, I'm not even going to try and remember. Um, there are a few that have it though. There are there's probably three or four different Hong Kong sellers that are pretty big on eBay that have these readily available. Um, definitely check through their listings. They're sometimes listed at different prices. Um, so they generally, you know, you generally hunt around a little bit through each seller. They might have multiples of different prices, so you can get one a little bit less if you have a look. Because um, it's not always the first one that comes up. So yeah, definitely keep your eye open for that. So they're calling this Han Solo Exegorth Escape. Um, it's a pretty nice set. It's a, it's a nice looking box. Um, you can just sort of see the... See the Han Solo Exegorth escape here. I'm just going to move Han himself out of the way for a second. His accessory should be okay there. So it's a nice looking package. Han Solo on the side there wearing his uh, breather mask from when they're out in the space slug looking for Minox. Um, there is some writing. There's a paragraph here on the back which is very difficult to see. Uh, if you can just pause that in. Pause that at certain points, you might be able to... You might be able to have a read. But yeah, it's, that's quite difficult to see. I wish they'd gone with a bit of a brighter, poppier colour, like the whites and stuff they've used here on the rest of it. That would have, that would have been preferable, I think. Uh, yeah, just going on the side of the Falcon again, continuing around the front, and on the top, and on the bottom. So this sort of slides open for the display. And this is what we get. We get this sort of window box, um, sort of displaying Han Solo, where he's obviously not in there. Um, Coming down the ramp of the Falcon, there's some smoke effects on the uh, on the window here. There's a spot in the, where the Minoc was, some backdrop with the Millennium Falcon, and yeah, it's it's just a really nice display piece. Um, if you're a boxed collector, it's be a really great display piece. And I'm gonna try and close that properly because it's there we go. But yeah, really nice display piece if you've got the room to sort of pull this thing open and have it sitting open, it would look fantastic. So that's the box. Let's have a look at the figure. So we get Han Solo in his, what has been referred to over the years as his Bespin, Bespin outfit. Um, some people call it his Hoth outfit, Asteroid Chase outfit. Um, I've always just called him Bespin Han Solo. That's just, uh, you know, he wears this for most of Empire Strikes Back. And it's one of my favorite looks. I've been really, really excited for this figure. Um, accessory wise, he comes with the breathing mask. And there's a lot of background noise here today. I've got my dogs are barking and my neighbours playing around with bloody motorbikes and stuff in his backyard. It's frustrating. So hopefully the camera doesn't pick that pick up to that too much. But uh, it's got a little clip on it which sort of attaches to his. Jacket it just sort of holds in there. And that fits on him pretty nicely. Well, looks good. You just sort of tuck that in there. That sort of holds onto his jacket. It also comes with what I believe is the hydro spanner. Focus, come on. There we go. It's just an odd little bit of plastic that they included in, but um, yeah, this will probably just go in the accessories bin. 
in the container that I keep all my accessories in. I probably won't display them with that. And there is a hidden hand in this one. If you, if you, I've, I've heard people have accidentally thrown them out because I didn't realise it was in the box. But you got this pointed finger, which is an uh, exclusive release to this figure. Of course, this Han Solo figure is going to get his own single release. Um, starting to trickle out now. A lot of online retailers certainly have him up for pre-order. Um, he doesn't include these three accessories that I've just shown you. So you come just as standard like this with his blaster. But uh, I think I'm going to pick that, that release anyway. I would really like to keep this Han Solo in a box. I think it looks fantastic. Either that or I'll put this one back in the uh, box I've got here. And keep that on display. But uh, yeah, I really, really like this figure. They've done a great job. It's going to bring the light down. So a bit of a clearer look. There we go, that should help. So obviously they're continuing on with this photo real paint apps, which is fantastic. Um, really, really liking what they're doing with this. Um, just, I've, I've had him displayed on my shelf next to the Bestman Luke Skywalker and it is apples and oranges. It is ridiculous how good these figures are now. Um, He's one, Bespin Luke's one that really needs to get in, slot into that archive line at some point with some new paint apps. Um, give him a refresh. I felt that figure was, had a lot of potential. Um, and it just sort of missed the mark by a fraction. I feel like a little bit of extra detail, a little bit more love into that Luke Skywalker figure would just, yeah, it would lift it up a, another level, I think. But, uh, yeah, this is if this is the way we're going, we're in for a treat for the future of this six inch black series line. Yeah, just the realism on that looks fantastic. You know, for a for a twenty dollar twenty to thirty, forty dollar figure, you can't really ask for much more. Comes with his DL-44 blaster pistol, which is slightly different to his New Hope version. Been actually been meaning to do my homework on that recently. Just noticing all the all the changes throughout the years um, that Han has had for his blaster. Um, they made a big deal of him getting the DL-44 in Solo, and then he has it in New Hope. Now he's got something different in Empire and. Obviously, Vader takes his, takes this one at the dinner scene. So, and then Return of the Jedi, he's got another one again. So, I'm going to do a little bit of homework and read up on that. But yeah, some great details on this figure. The shirt's awesome underneath, as always. The jacket, I really, I'm, this is my favourite. Like I said, this is my favourite look on on Han Solo. It's this blue jacket. And they've done a great job on this one. His belt looks awesome. Nicely weathered. The silver buckles and pins and stuff pop really nicely. The brown trousers with the Corellian stripe down the end, down the sides, looks good. Black boots. The blaster does fit in his holster nicely, which is something that they've continued to do. And the articulation on this one is awesome as well. He's got the hinges in the ankles, double joints in the knees, the swivels at the thighs, the joints in the hips there. He's got that sort of moving torso joint. Uh, hinges in the wrists as well as the extra hand as well um, single joint in the elbows but get some good angles so it's not that sort of stuck in that 45 there's a little bit further around which is nice hinges in the shoulders and then we're getting these new joints that they're doing up here with the neck you can sort of see that there is a joint in there I haven't worked out whether they're doing I haven't seen anyone pull one apart yet, so I'm not sure whether it's a ball and socket in there or whether there's a pin. 
and then they've got this double pin in the in the neck which allows a lot more movement than a normal ball and socket would in the head so some great great movement around on the in the head joints now which is just fantastic Anyway, guys, that's about all I have to say about this one. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Any feedback is always appreciated. And I'll be back with the action figure three pack with Dr. Afra and the murder droids <laughs> um, in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Till then, may the force be with you.